In this video, I formulize how you can calculate the number range for binary patterns. In the previous video in the playlist, we looked to see what value this nibble gave us where everything is a zero, and we worked out that it was indeed a zero in our number system. We went on to show what a nibble's value was when every position was a one, and we worked out that to be 15. We can now talk about the range of values that you could expect to see within a nibble. And the range will go from 0 and every other number up to the value of 15, where 15 is the biggest value you can expect to see in a nibble. We then, in a previous video, discussed combinations that are possible with a nibble. And we used this formula 2 to the n, where n is the number of bits and of course, for a nibble, the number of bits are 4. And 2 to the 4 is clearly 16. Consider the range. The maximum value is 1 less than the number of combinations, which we know to be 16. So the number of combinations are 16, and we can see that the maximum value of the range is 15, because we start at 0. 0 to 15 gives us 16 combinations. Let's now consider a byte, and you can see for this byte every position is a zero. And we know when we work out what that value is in our number system, it is indeed zero. And we can carry on and look at all the other possible combinations all the way up to when every position is a one. And when every position in a byte is a one, we know we're going to get 255. Now, the range for a byte goes from zero to 255. If we now ask the question, how many combinations can we have? We know we could use this formula where we have 2 to the n is going to be equal to 2 to the 8 because there are 8 bits in a byte and that gives us 256. If you turn your attention to the maximum value of the range, which is 255, you can see that this is one less than the 256 combinations. So it's obvious there's some kind of relationship here. We can see that the maximum value of the range appears to be always one less than the number of combinations. And we need to take that understanding forward. Let's return our attention to a nibble. And we know the number of combinations for a nibble is shown here, where it's two to the n, and of course, 2 to the n means, in this case, it's 2 to the 4, because there are 4 bits. And 2 to the 4 calculates out as being equal to 16. And we know the maximum value is going to be 1 less than this 16. And we also know that the first number in the range will be when everything is a 0. So the range will always start off at 0. So you can see I've expressed that here, where I'm saying the range is from 0 to... This here is the number of combinations minus one so for this example what you do you say right i'm going to take the zero and i'm going to go and calculate this which is two to the four which is the number of combinations for a double and you subtract the one so we can write that out as zero two and obviously two to the four is 16 we take away the one and we can come to this line and we can see it's zero to 15 because the 15 is this calculation here so the range is from 0 to 15. So we can write down here, for a nibble, the number of combinations is 16, which I've taken from here. And the range, we can see we've worked out to be 0 to 15. Pause the video and have a go at this exercise, which is asking, what is the range and number of binary pattern combinations for a byte? When you've had a go, Restart the video where I will go over the answer. If we now consider the answer, we know we need to use 2 to the n, where n is the number of bits for the number of combinations. And for the range, we use this from 0 to the 2 to the n minus 1. So let's work on the combinations first. And we know we're having to use 2 to the n, which is 2 to the 8, because we're dealing with a byte. It's got 8 bits. And that equals 256 combinations you can have with the bytes. If we look at the range, it goes from 0 to 2 to the n minus 1. So what we can do, we can substitute the 8 in for n. 
So it goes from 0 to 2 to the 8 minus 1, and that will equal 0 to 256, which is what 2 to the 8 is, minus 1, and that will give us this here from 0 to 255. Now, if you consider the 255, you can see that that is one less than the number of combinations because we start the range at zero. So the range for a byte is shown here from zero to 255. Pause the video and have a go at exercise two, which is asking, what is the range and number of binary combinations for 16 bits? The answer is as follows. We know we have to use 2 to the n, where n is the number of bits. And for the range, we use this from 0 to, and in brackets, you can see it's 2 to the n minus 1, again, where n is the number of bits. So if we decide to do the combinations first, we know it's 2 to the n, and that's going to equal 2 to the power 16, because we've got 16 bits, and that equals this value here, 65,000. 536 which you can work out on your calculator and if we now consider the range we know to use this 0 to 2 to the n minus 1 if we substitute the 16 in for the n this is on the way to doing the calculation and then we end up with 0 2 and in the brackets you can see it's 65536 minus 1 which will result in this being the range if you consider the range and look to this value here, you can see that that is one less than the number of combinations. And we realize that that must be the case because we start off the range at zero. So the full range is from zero to 65,535. Have a go at this exercise, which is asking what is the range and number of binary pattern combinations for 32 bits? Pause the video and restart it once you've had a go at doing the exercise yourself. Let's now look at the answer. We know we have to use 2 to the n where n is the number of bits, and we also have to use this for the range. Let's work on the combinations first. Knowing we have to use 2 to the n, we simply substitute for the n 32, so it's 2 to the power of 32, and we get this very large number. I won't bother reading it out but you can work that out with your calculator. The range, however, is now done using this formula. So we substitute the 32 in for the n again, as you can see here, and then we move on with the calculation to give us this, 0 to the very large number we had for 2 to the 32 minus 1, which ends up being this value here. And if you look at this number, you can see it is 1 less than the number of combinations. And again, that's because we start at zero. So the range for 32 bits is shown here. And of course, you can have 64 bits and so on. But I'll just leave you with this one as the last exercise. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.